Hello, 7th grade artists. Hope you're doing well. Not that long ago, I had done a vote for our assignments, and I was pleasantly surprised at how many kids really liked the variety of assignments. But one that stood out that was surprising to me was this Crayola redesign that we did. And uh, in the course of 7th and 8th grade, I like to try to diversify the type of assignments that we have with materials, subject matter, and sometimes not just make it fine art space, but more graphic design or logo based. And that's what this project is. Um, maybe some of the first materials you ever used were from this Pennsylvania company, Crayola. So you can see in this logo, there's like a smile, with, which is kind of neat. So it's more, you know, kind of to attract the attention of children. You know, it'd be weird to think of these colors as their teeth, but it is a smile. You have to look at it that way, the outline, not the colors of the teeth or the crowns. Um, these traditionally have been the Crayola colors, green and yellow, for, for years. But more and more, they kind of made the logo uh, more attractive to children. Uh, they have high quality materials, not the top quality for, say, watercolors, pretty good, but really crowns is what they're kind of known for the most. And perhaps the first things that we ever, myself included, ever drew with. Um, I thought it was cool before I was at the uh, store and um, they had these different special um, select groups of Crayola crowns. Now, I, they used to have m the uh, multicultural crowns of different skin tones, metallic crowns, neon or fluorescent, and they would kind of uh, correlate the design on the packaging with the color scheme. But then they would do things like this. They would change for a special series metallic or glitter crowns, I would guess, to bejeweled. And they have here the same Crayola font and the same Crayola smile logo with here like a peacock looking like holding like uh, gems in its feathers or star shines like outer space and again more kind of cartoony um, and the color scheme representing the theme that's there pearl swirl I didn't even no I even had this one I guess these are kind of like the metallic ones but very colorful so they have like a little uh, it looks like a Squid and the Loch Ness Monster. So very cartoony. Hal and Blues. Monochromatic, a, a word you'll learn more next year. So here's some kind of cool color themes. Um, and then I thought, hey, maybe they should do superheroes. And they kind of did. Um, outer Space, Seasons, things like that. I have some good examples, but they're at Cedar Brook. But I, I put some good examples for you to check out um, on, online on Google Classroom. What I'd like you to do is... Uh, any size paper is cool, any material, though it would, in this case, it might be kind of cool to, to color them. Um, maybe even with Crayola, if you have them. Here's a limited edition outer space. So it's just a, it just has a font with like stars in the background. What I'd like you to do is um, create a theme for like a Crayola box. Um, you could do it on a re regular box, just on a paper, and do the Crayola font, which is just bubble letters, which is you basically just writing a letter twice next to each other and then kind of circling it to, to, to make it a bubble and then say you know you do Philadelphia Phillies crowns or uh, uh, autumn crowns and you would you know make make colors that would kind of fit in with that theme so I'd like you to do a theme a Crayola redesign it's it's a great company uh, so it's again it's it's local to Pennsylvania but students really like the idea of taking a, a existing design packaging and kind of modifying it or personalizing it into their own interests or color scheme or, or, or theme. And it's also a cool way to kind of uh, get involved with like your own interests, things like that. So if you like music or sports or the Star Wars or retro video games or whatever, you know, you make like some kind of a, a design for, for the packaging and then a color scheme that would fit, you know. Okay, so that's a fun project that people have liked, a little bit different, but I, I don't want to just do fine arts based or academic uh, observational studies. I want to do some logo based projects as well. So this is kind of a fun, uh, fun one that was very popular that we've done. It used to be eighth grade and now we're doing for seventh grade. So have fun with that. And you can just show me progress as, as you, uh, as you work along or just uh, show me the finished project when you're done. Okay. All right. Thank you.